Hey there, Alex here from BGS. I'm a revenue optimization expert and I help e-commerce businesses grow and scale through optimizing their store. And in this video, I'm gonna talk to you about the one thing that you should never do on your product pages, okay? And this is one of those things that's accepted as a must have in the industry. But in fact, it's one of the biggest mistakes that businesses make, okay? So what am I talking about? social sharing icons on your product pages you should never ever have social sharing icons on your product pages okay and there are two reasons for it first of all nobody actually cares about sharing your product that's the truth at least not yet okay why would anybody want to share your product with their close circle of friends when at this stage they don't even know themselves whether they like your product or not okay and number two you've already paid a lot of money to get them to your product pages from Facebook or Google or whatever. Why would you give them an easy way out and back into their favorite social networks where it's going to take only a second for them to go down the rabbit hole and to never return, okay? So never ever put social sharing icons on your product pages. And let me show you a few examples here. Let me share my screen. This is what I'm talking about, social sharing. So if I click here, this will take me to Facebook and I can post it on my uh, personal Facebook profile page, right? Or Twitter or Pinterest in this case, depending on what pages that these businesses enable. Here's an, another example. This is a little bit smaller, so it's not as prominent, but look at this website, okay? <laughs> these social sharing buttons are literally more prominent when then their add to cart button, which is a so-called goes button, which is another thing you should never do, by the way. The add to cart should be the most prominent element on the page. And in this case, it should be black, but that's a topic for another video. But look, these literally stand out more than the actual button, which is the one action that you want your visitors to take on this page. So this is a big no-no. It's super distracting, okay? Takes attention away from the main action. Here's another site. Uh, I'm not even going to go into what all of this stuff is doing on the left, but look at these big, big social sharing buttons here. They're not even icons, but they're buttons. Like, why would you even want to do this instead of showing your visitors relevant information that is going to push them towards the sale? you give them these icons to share a product that they don't even know whether they like it or not yet. It just doesn't make any sense, okay? And here is yet another one, right below the buy it now button, okay? Which is something you should, shouldn't do as well. You shouldn't have buy now button on the product pages, add to cart instead. But anyway, you do not want to do this at all. This is very, very distracting, okay? By the way, all of these websites that I showed you, these are top Shopify websites by volume of traffic. At the time of this recording, this website is number one Shopify store. This is number four. This is number six. This is eight. And this is number nine. Okay. So what's the lesson here? Don't blindly copy other stores just because they're big or they're popular they get a lot of traffic just because they're big that doesn't mean that they know what they're doing okay so you should never ever just blindly copy other websites you should always guide yourself, guide yourself by data okay and testing now if you're not gonna put them on your product page where should you actually put your social sharing icons okay and the answer to that is on your thank you page. I'm gonna stop sharing here because I don't have a thank you page pulled out, but it should be right on your thank you page where people actually have a reason to share a product. Now they're already invested in it. So they're a lot more compelled to sharing your product, okay? They're already happy and excited. Hey, look what I bought, this is awesome. In fact, a really good thing to do here on your thank you page is to in incentivize your customers to share their product or your product uh, on their social media give them something like a discount or a gift card or whatever. It doesn't matter, whatever works for your business, but that can work really well if done right, okay? That's number one spot. And number two, another spot where you can show your social sharing icons is in your transactional emails, your email receipts and email order confirmations, okay? So 
Let's recap real quick. What do we know so far? Number one, never show your social sharing icons on your product pages. Number two, show them on your thank you page and your email receipts and order confirmations. And number three, incentivize your customers to share your products on their social media. And uh, that's how you will get a lot of free eyeballs, free traffic to your website, basically. And last but not least, don't blindly copy other people's stores just because you think they're big or they're popular or they're doing well. That doesn't mean that they're doing the right things, okay? That's it for this video. And if you liked it and you want to hear more of it, stay tuned because there will be a lot more coming where this one came from. And if you want to work with us, just go to workwithbgs.com. Just fill out a small application and we would love to get on the phone and see how we can help, okay? That's workwithbgs.com. Until next time, have a good one and I'll see you soon. Bye.